everyone. Welcome to Wednesday Wisdom and happy International Turtle and Tortoise Week. This week, since everyone's stuck at home, we thought it'd be fun to share from our team everyone's favorite turtle or tortoise species and a fun fact about them. So I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, Shane with ZooMed. I'd have to say that my favorite turtle would be the pink-bellied side neck turtle. These guys come from Australia and Papua New Guinea. Uh, just a great tank mate, always curious, always coming out and seeing what's going on. That's Rosie behind me. She loves to come out and see what everybody's doing. These guys are known for their pink bellies, but also a yellow stripe right along the side of their eyes. That long neck of theirs allows them to reach in between rocks to be able to go after fish and other little small bugs, things that they're trying to eat, but also allows them that they get flipped over onto their back they can get right side up. Everybody can see that bright pink belly I've got on this little guy here, Martin. That allows them for that cool name that they've got. And then they've also got that yellow stripe along their head. Enjoy your turtles. Hey guys, Tom from ZooMed. Uh, happy International Turtle and Tortoise Week. Uh, I think my favorite turtle has got to be the Spangler Eye or the Black Breasted Leaf Turtle. I think they're just super cool. They don't get too big. Uh, max size of those guys is about four and a half inches, uh, no larger which means they don't require a large outdoor enclosure, so they're very manageable to keep inside all year round. Uh, they're always super excited looking. I think they have the coolest little facial expressions. Uh, I've heard people call them um, cartoon characters stuck inside of a turtle shell. I just think they're all around just the coolest turtle. Hey, I'm Raymond Azumed, and my favorite tortoise is an African spur tortoise. One of the reasons African spur tortoise are my favorite is because of the size they can get. Um, they are the third largest species of tortoises, and they consume up to 15% of their body weight when they eat or drink. This guy right here is Truman, and he lives at Zoomed. Not many tortoises like a good back rub, like the radiateds. Sit there, kind of shake it a little bit kind of shaking their booty just a little bit. And that's one of the reasons why the radiated is my favorite. Not to mention their beauty. Hey all you cool turtles and tortoises. Happy International Turtle and Tortoise Week. Uh, I'm Noah with ZooMed Labs up here in the Pacific Northwest. And I'm gonna tell you about one of my favorite turtles of all time. And that is the alligator snapping turtle. I mean, who doesn't love a turtle that is native to the US lives in fresh water and can get 200 plus pounds and live to 80 to 120 years. That's pretty impressive. Take care guys. Hi y'all, I'm Jennifer. My favorite turtle species is the orange twist neck turtle. Um, it is the only species in the genus Platemis. Um, it is a no, another name for it could be the flat-headed turtle. Um, as the name inscribes, it is very flat. It spends its time hiding under rocks and crevices away from predators. Um, and it does, in order to, it doesn't bring its head in its shell by pulling straight back. It actually twists its head to the side in order to get it under its shell. Um, they spend half of their time on land and half of their time in the water and it's shallow water. They're not exactly the greatest swimmers when it comes to deep water. Um, one of the things that I really love about this turtle is they're very curious. Uh, the ones that we have at ZooMed are always very curious to see what you're doing when you come up to their tub, especially when it's feeding time. They all come running out um, and are very curious about food in your fingers. So we always have to be careful with that. Um, but uh, do some more research on them. They're just a great species. They tend to lay one egg um, at a time and it tends to be very large. Um, and they also really tend to come out when it rains. So whenever we mist down their tub or spray the water, the minute they hear the mister on the water, they're all coming out to kind of hang out. So anyways, uh, hope you get a chance to do some research on them and check them out because they're really great. Hi everyone, I'm Meredith from ZoomEd. I do some of the social media posting here and my favorite tortoise species is a leopard tortoise. This here is Terrence. He's a one-year-old leopard tortoise and one of the reasons why I like them so much is just because of the huge range of coloration they can have. Uh, some of them are a lot more yellow, some of them are a lot more black, and each one is just so unique. Hi, I'm Andrew, and uh, for turtle and tortoise group, my favorite tortoise is the red foot tortoise. They're super outgoing, really friendly, really curious. They're a South American species, so they like it hot, they like it humid, but they'll come right up to you and check things out, sniff you, chew on your shoelaces. Uh, they're 
It's very outgoing, so that's why they're my favorite. Hey zoo fans, I'm Davey, the resident video guy here at ZooMed Laboratories. Uh, my favorite turtle has always been the Diamondback Terrapin. I just really love their markings, they're just a beautiful turtle. And uh, whenever I'm working with them for a video or doing a photo shoot, uh, they've always been very personal. They're not like most of the turtles I've, I've worked with, where they kind of get skittish and they run away, do their turtle thing and hide in their shells. Um, Diamondbacks have always been just a really personal turtle. They've come up to me, been very curious about my camera and whatnot. And they're just a blast to work with. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your Turtle and Taurus week. Stay healthy out there. Hi Zoo fans, this is Alex from ZooMed Laboratories. I would like to wish everybody out there a happy International Turtle and Tortoise Week. My favorite species of aquatic turtles would be the Diamondback Terrapins. This is mainly due to the fact that they're very, very active and have a ton of personality. My favorite species of uh, tortoises would be the Pancake Tortoise. Uh, they are a very active species that loves to climb in the cage and utilize different heights and structures, which I love to build personally. And they also have the ability to invert their feet when they get into a crevice to get away from a predator, which I think is pretty amazing. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Take care, Zoo fans. Hi, I'm Miranda with Zoo Med. Uh, my favorite turtle or tortoise species is the three-toed box turtle. Uh, my favorite thing about them is that the males and females look different. Um, this is called sexual dimorphism. Um, so the males have this bright orange coloring on their skin while the females are um, a more muted brown color. And then um, the females have brown eyes while the males have these bright, bright orange devilish eyes. And then um, the three-toed box turtles are called the three-toed box turtles because their back feet have three toes. If you can see that, he's retracting. Um, and then their front feet have um, a normal amount of toes, but it comes from the three-toed on the back. And then since they're box turtles, um, they have the ability to hinge completely, go into their shell completely with this hinge that's on their um, bottom portion of their shell, and it will close up completely, and they can retract into it. Hey everybody, my name is David with Zoomet, and for International Turtle and Tortoise Week, I want to share with you my favorite tortoise, and that's going to be the Egyptian tortoise. So let's take a look at these little guys. So the reason these are my favorite tortoises is because they only get up to about four to five inches in length. They are the world's second smallest tortoise. The males will get up to about four inches, and the females only up to about five inches. I've had these for close to about nine months now, and they still have a few more years until they are up to full breeding size, which obviously is not going to be much bigger than that. They do come from Egypt and Libya with a lot of people thinking that they come from a desert um, climate, whereas actually they get really humid in the morning since they are on the coastline and then it will dry out throughout the day. So hope you guys enjoy and have a great week. Hi, I'm Elena and we're at ZooMed. My favorite turtle is a musk turtle because they stink and they're also stinking cute. Musk turtles got their name from being able to produce a stinky musk as a defense mechanism whenever they feel threatened. Hey everybody, happy International Turtle and Tortoise Week. Thank you so much for joining us for our very special Wednesday Wisdom, all about turtles and tortoises. And we just wanted to share some of our favorite tortoises and turtles. My favorite is the pancake tortoise. Well, this is the home of my favorite tortoise, the pancake tortoise. And we've got a group of them that, if you can kind of see them underneath this hide, they all like to get together and, um, and hang out in these small spaces, which is one of the things I really like about them, uh, that they're so gregarious. So I'm gonna pull them out. You can see why we call them pancake tortoises because they're flat like a pancake. This is what we call a short stack because um, they're all stacked up on each other. Uh, these tortoises are full grown. They're only about six to seven inches long and only about an inch tall. They are just one of the most unique tortoises in the whole world. 
Um, their legs are long. They're very fast. They're great climbers. Uh, they lay one egg at a time and it takes a long time to incubate. And when they hatch out, the little hatchlings are super grumpy. And I'll take you over in a second and show you some hatchlings because I love them so much. Uh, pancake tortoises. Yeah, they're really cool. They're also known as crevice tortoises because um, their shell, I'm gonna try to switch hands here. Come here, buddy. So you can see he's real flat. Um, her shell is kind of flexible and you might even be able to see it moving a little bit here. And uh, when they are threatened, they will retreat to a, a rocky outcropping. They like run really fast. They get inside a crevice and they expand their, um, they, they kind of use their legs. You can see, you might be able to see her legs are kind of flexing back here. They're kind of flex their, their back legs so that they're real tight in this little crevice space and they can't be pulled out of the rocks. And that's what protects them because the shell really doesn't pr provide them with much protection at all because they're a soft, uh, a soft shelled tortoise, really. Pancake tortoises, let's go see some babies. So these are some baby pancake tortoises and these hatched, uh, one of them just hatched about a month ago. Um, and the other one is just a couple months old. So these are tiny little pancake tortoise babies. Let's see if we can look at his little face here. Focus, focus camera, there we go. Focus again, there we go. There's his grumpy little face. Hi grumpy little baby. This is a little baby pancake tortoise. They all have different patterns. They all look different when they hatch out of the egg. Um, they're kind of folded in half like a taco when they're born. Really, really cute little baby tortoises. And we love them. I love them. Hi, my name's Paul, and I really like the diamond pack terrapins and the aquatic species. Uh, I really like them as little babies. Uh, they are very friendly and will come up to the glass instead of hiding. So, and their markings are some of my favorites the black and white is really cool and the shells get some pretty awesome patterns especially as babies it's really pronounced. Hi I'm Eric the Florida Zoo Med rep and I'm going to talk to you for a minute about a dwarf African sidenick turtle. One of the neat things about these turtles is they're very small they're dwarf and so this is an adult male here and he's just about four inches and this is a female and she's an adult breeding size and about five inches. So they're really neat, good pets, very personable, and they stay very small. So just wanted to show them off. Hey, happy International Turtle and Tortoise Week. Uh, this is Jason down in Texas. I uh, just want to say my favorite tortoise is the Herman's tortoise. They're smaller of the breed of tortoises. They're easy to keep in smaller places like apartments, things like that. Um, they've got a ton of personality. So if you're looking for a new pet, check out the Herman's tortoise. They're really cool. And for the International Turtle and Tortoise Week, I choose the Reef Turtle as my favorite turtle pet. Why? Well, first of all, the Reef Turtle doesn't get that big. We talk around 6 inches. Some will stay smaller, some will get bigger. It means that you don't need a big aquarium to keep them in. Secondly, they are very fun to watch. They are very clumsy, they don't swim very well, so that makes them charming. And thirdly, they adapt very well to their new environment. Um, the reef turtle is semi-aquatic, so you need to make sure that they have a spot that they can go outside of the water, they need a basking spot, and they need UVB light. So if ever you intend to get yourself a reef turtle, or several of them, make sure you provide them with UVBs and a basking spot light. Um, they are omnivorous, so they will eat veggies, they will eat pellet food, such as zoomed food, and uh, they can eat insects too, like worms and stuff like that. So overall, reef turtles are really fun, um, they're easy to maintain, they don't get that big, and I recommend them. And that's it for me. Hello ZooMed fans, my name is Ben and I'm a rep for ZooMed. This is my favorite turtle that I wanted to share with everybody. 
I'm in Pittston, Pennsylvania at a pet store called Pet Zone, who is kind enough to allow me to use his pet as my display animal. This is a Fly River Turtle, also known as a Pig Nose Turtle. I like these guys for a few different reasons. One, because they remind me a lot of sea turtles, but they are actually a freshwater turtle. And they've got flippers instead of clawed feet like most turtles have. Uh, also a couple differences, their shells are covered by a leathery hide. And they also have, um, their diet consists more of uh, vegetables as, as opposed to, they are omnivorous, but their diet is composed more of vegetables than meat. But thanks, I just wanted to share my favorite turtle with everybody. Hi, I'm Tashar from ZooMed Labs. My favorite species is the spotted turtle. It's a small turtle with a big personality. Happy International Turtle and Tortoise Week. Hello, Ryan from ZooMed Labs. Uh, in observation of International Turtle and Tortoise Week, I was asked to share with you my favorite species of turtle or tortoise. And when I was asked to do this, really, it took a lot of hard thought to figure out which turtle or tortoise was my favorite. So because I am an avid free diver, I chose the green sea turtle. If you're not familiar with the green sea turtle, I actually drew a picture of one. So this is, this is my rendition of a green sea turtle. Now, what's cool about green sea turtles? Everything, everything is cool about green sea turtles. They get gigantic. And as adults, they're primarily herbivores, which is awesome. They have a huge range. They live all over the world. I've actually had the pleasure of swimming with a number of green sea turtles. So if, uh, if they have the ability, I actually included some pictures that I've taken of green sea turtles and I hope you enjoy them. Hi, I'm Rita. And today I want to share with you one of my favorite turtles, which is the spiny hill turtle. When they're born, they have spikes on their carapace. And as they get older, you can see here that it kind of goes away. One of the reasons why it's my favorite turtle is because it's been a really fun habitat to work on for them. 